The topic under focus is introduction to crystallography. What is the meaning of crystallography and what is the significance of it? How we define it and different parameters related to this term crystallography are explained here. The word crystallography comprises of two terms a crystal and graphy but the graphy means science or study when we say crystallography it means the science or the study of crystals here the basic definition of crystallography is given it is a branch of physics that deals with the study of all possible types of crystals and the physical properties of crystalline solids by the determination of their actual structure by using x-rays neutron beams and electron beams the meaning is a crystal is studied by using x-rays neutron beams and electron beams and when we speak of the study of a crystal we try to find out what properties a crystal has the other definition of crystallography is it is the experimental science of determining the arrangement of atoms in crystalline solids means how the atoms are arranged within a crystal how we find what experiment we perform or through experimental science how we determine the arrangement of atoms in crystal is called as crystallography it has to do with figuring out how the atoms in crystalline solids are arranged and bound as well as the geometric layout of crystal lattices in the sense this subject crystallography it speaks about the arrangement of atoms in crystalline solids how the atoms are arranged in a crystal how they are connected to each other that is how they are bound and what geometric layout they place before us they show to us classification of solids if we go a little deeper to understand the meaning of a crystal or crystalline solid and how it differs from other solids we need to have basics of classification of solids solids can be broadly classified into three categories the first one is crystalline solids the second is amorphous solids or non crystalline solids and the third one is polycrystalline solids here they are pictureized the first one on the left is amorphous solid the middle one is crystalline solid the first one on right side is polycrystalline solid we see some more details about each so that crystalline solids can be explained with more clarity here the picture of crystalline solid is shown bigger and basics of it are explained here if the ions atoms or molecules in a solid are arranged in a regular fashion it is crystalline solid in the sense if we look into the structure of a crystal we find atoms molecules or ions they are arranged in a regular fashion they are arranged in a regular pattern hence in a crystalline solid the atoms are arranged in an orderly three dimensional array that is repeated throughout the structure the meaning here is whether the smallest element here is atom molecule or ion whatever it is those elements are orderly arranged in the form of a three dimensional array and this order is repeated throughout the structure of the crystal this is shown in figure a and there are few examples here copper silver aluminum and magnesium for crystalline solids now we speak about amorphous solids or non crystalline solids here the picture of amorphous solid is enlarged amorphous means without form in the sense it doesn't have any particular pattern inside atoms ions or molecules are not arranged properly instead they are spread in haphazard manner randomly in an amorphous solid the atoms or molecules are arranged in an irregular fashion as shown in figure b the examples are glass plastic rubber etc now the third category of solids is polycrystalline solids as you could see in the picture there are regions in it each region has its elements aligned in a particular fashion but the regions are randomly placed with respect to each other since there are multiple small crystals it is called as polycrystalline because the meaning of poly is many here the description is there are few solids which are composed of several small regions each of regular pattern of ions atoms or molecules but the regions are not aligned with respect to each other these are called as polycrystalline solids in other words within regions some sort of pattern of the atoms exist but the various regions are randomly arranged with respect to each other as shown in figure c now we focus on crystals what is the definition of a crystal crystals are materials that have a repeating arrangement of atoms in the sense the atoms molecules or ions are arranged in a regular fashion and that regular arrangement is repeated in a crystal the atoms are arranged in an orderly three dimensional array that is repeated throughout the structure that is the order or a particular fashion of three dimensional array of elements is repeated throughout the structure crystal structure is one of the most basic properties of a material 
every material will have several basic properties and the internal crystal structure is one of the most important properties of a material now we focus on the definition of a space lattice and unit cell if you could see here on the right side a space lattice is shown it has got several unit cells here unit cell is portrayed it is a cubic unit cell and the corners or edges of this unit cell are called as lattice points here the space lattice is defined it is an infinite three dimensional array of points in space such that the environment about each point is the same the space lattice is defined as infinite three dimensional array of points in such a way they are arranged that around each point the environment is similar or the same i should say the other definition is the three dimensional network of imaginary lines connecting atoms is called the space lattice here you can see three dimensional network of imaginary lines in the sense the atoms are not connected with the lines as we could see in the figure but these are imaginary lines hence the three dimensional network of imaginary lines which is connecting all the atoms together is called as a space lattice the lattice point here represent the position of constituent particle that is atom or molecule or ion in a crystal lattice or a space lattice here you could see a unit cell and each point of the unit cell is called as a lattice point here we define a unit cell a unit cell is the smallest geometric figure the repetition of which gives the actual crystal structure if you see the figure here the smallest geometric figure which is repeated around to give the structure to the total crystal is called as unit cell in other words the smallest unit having the full symmetry of the crystal is called the unit cell the other definition here is the unit cell whatever properties it has in the context of symmetry the same will be repeated around in three dimension the edges of which form three axes a b and c the unit cell will have three parameters called as small a small b and small c the three dimensional aggregation of unit cells in the crystal forms a space lattice the space lattice is also defined as three dimensional aggregation or assembling of unit cells in the crystal few more details of unit cell and crystal lattice are given here the unit cell may also be defined as the molecules or groups of molecules which represent fully all the characteristics of the crystal the choice of unit cell is not unique but it can be constructed into a number of ways as a b c d a dash b dash c dash d dash or a double dash b double dash c double dash d double dash if you see this figure different types of unit cells are defined here here a b c d is defined as unit cell here a dash b dash c dash d dash are defined as unit cell here a double dash b double dash c double dash d double dash together is defining a unit cell so what is to be told here is unit cell can be defined differently but it should reflect the construction of the whole crystal the unit cell should be chosen in such a way that it conveys the symmetry of crystal lattice and makes the mathematical calculations easy in the sense we have to select a unit cell in such a way that our mathematical calculations get simplified the space lattice if we define in two dimension for its simplicity because its space will be 3d but for simplicity if we define space lattice it means around any two points in a crystal the environment is the same it represents a space lattice here if you care for any point assuming this gray point around four sides it has atoms similar way if you see this point it has atoms on four sides so the complete structure connecting such points is called as space lattice here right side is an example of a space lattice left side there are several examples of a space lattice example a example b example c example d and example e here you could see animation of 2d space lattices here is an example of 3d space lattices they are crystal structures they are spreading into space in such a way that each unit cell is multiplying around with its symmetry this is also an example of 3d space lattice now we define a crystal structure we define a basis along with lattice while using the terminology or the definition of lattice that we have already given before the crystal is formed only when a group of atoms which are identical in all directions is attached to each lattice point the attached group of atoms is called a basis as shown in figure here it is explained how the crystal structure is formed crystal structure is formed by combining two things lattice that is the symmetry of points 
plus the basis. Basis is nothing but group of atoms that is attached to each lattice point. When they are assembled together, they form crystalline structure. In another words, a set of one or more atoms about a lattice point is called a basis. The crystal lattice together with the basis gives the crystal structure as shown in figure. So the crystal structure is formed when a basis of atoms is attached identically to each lattice point. Here, in other words, crystal structure is explained that a basis is nothing but a set of one or more atoms. When each basis is connected or combined with one lattice point, then the whole 3D structure that forms is called as crystal structure. The entire lattice structure of a crystal is found to consist of identical blocks or unit cells. The lattice is known as crystal lattice. The properties of the crystal lattice determines the electrical properties of the material. Here are few examples of crystal lattices.